Hi, I'm going to show you some of the new features in Audition CS6 that can really make a big difference in your audio for video workflows. I'm going to start my project over here in Premiere with a really simple edit that we shot uh, in the neighborhood in Seattle where Adobe's offices are. So we've got Duran here and he's talking about ADR. So let me go ahead and play this and uh, take a listen to the audio. And while you're listening, notice that the, uh, the new mixer panel and the audio uh, levels meter uh, have both been redesigned in Premiere CS6. Okay, so let's go ahead and play back that video. ADR can just be a fact of life when you're shooting on location. The new Align Speech Tools in Adobe... Uh, okay, so that gives you a sense of what we're up against. But before we go over into Premiere, I want to talk really briefly about some of the things uh, that we've added in Premiere that really uh, make a big difference. So I've actually used uh, the Warp Stabilizer to stabilize these two shots. So let me go ahead and turn that back on. And uh, you can see a lot of the unwanted camera movement that we got when we shot uh, was taken care of. I've also created uh, a graded version of this sequence using the new Adobe Speed Grade, and it makes it really fast and easy to take your projects from kind of looking like that to looking really much more filmic and frankly more beautiful. So let's give the audio in this project the same treatment. So let me use the edit in audition command to send this sequence over to audition so I can do some work on the audio. So we've got the ability to export a preview video, which in this case, because we're going to be doing ADR work, is absolutely critical. Uh, we also have the ability to turn on or off the open and audition option so that if I were handing this off to somebody else to do this work for me, uh, they would e I'd easily be able to package that up. Let me go ahead and hit cancel and we'll go over to audition. And uh, you can see we've got the clips there. And you can tell just by looking at them that the volume levels don't match at all. So I'm going to go ahead and use the match clip volume command. And you'll notice here that we've added support for the ITU loudness standard. And what that allows you to do is make sure that if you're making a commercial or some other kind of content, that it's in compliance with the new standards for broadcast loudness. Let me go ahead and click OK. And you can see that it actually dropped uh, this one down significantly while raising the level of the second clip. So now if I play that in Audition, uh, they're at least sort of in the same neighborhood. So they still sound terrible, but we can fix that too. So let me switch over to the media browser here. And uh, this is another new feature that we've added in Audition. So let me find... Uh, my demo assets here, and I've actually got a really nice little uh, ability to create shortcuts to the projects that I'm working on. And I'm going to click over here, and we'll just use the reading uh, phrase. So let me go ahead and start back at the beginning. ADR can just be a fact. And you can tell, looking at that, that the lip movements aren't aligning at all with the audio. So I'm going to use the new automatic speech alignment command in Audition to make sure that those sync up. But I'm going to start by breaking this into a couple of smaller clips. And I'm doing that because speech alignment works best in Audition uh, if the files that you're starting with are you know, roughly the same size. So let me go ahead and select those two. And I'll run that. What's nice about the speech alignment is that you've got the ability to sort of tell it whether you would prefer to have tight alignment or smoother stretching or sort of a middle road. And I'm going to go ahead and choose that here. And I'll just go ahead and click OK. And you can see it's really, really fast. So let me do that with the second clip. Go ahead and set that up. OK, so let's go back to the beginning and see how well it lines up. ADR can just be a fact of life when you're shooting on location. The new Align Speech Tools and Adobe Audition CS6 really takes a lot of the hassle out of ADR. OK, so that sounds great. And we've got um, a nice, clean dialogue track. But these clips were clearly shot on location. And um, I want to be able to uh, drop in some wild sound that I recorded. So I actually logged this project using the new Adobe Prelude. And part of what I did as I was logging was identify some clips that I could use for the wild soundtrack. So I've gone ahead and in a separate session mixed those down. So I'm going to just drop those in there. And let me uh, select this and trim it down so it's roughly the same length. There we go. Okay, and we'll go ahead and turn this one on as well, and then we can adjust. ADR can just be a okay, fact that's a little loud, so we we'll just drop that the down. New Align Speech Tools and Adobe Audition CS6 really takes a lot okay. of Okay, so with a minimum amount of effort, I've gone ahead and replaced the dialogue track, and we've got the wild sound, and so now that I'm largely done with my project, I'm going to go ahead and choose Export to Premiere Pro, and I'm going to mix this down as a stereo file, 
and go ahead and do that. And you can see it almost instantly is back over in Premiere. So I could add this as a new audio track, but instead I'm just going to drop it into the Audio 2 track and turn off the original. And we'll go back to the beginning and see how much better this piece looks and sounds because of the new features that we've added in CS6. So you can see with a minimum amount of time and effort, I've been able to significantly improve the quality of my audio uh, for this really simple little project. We think CS6 is going to be a huge release because it makes doing simple projects like this as well as more complex ones much faster and much easier.